government to appoint the president we need. Outsiders must not impose people upon us to manage us. That's the end of it. The citizens of Niger were against the French military bases, the American bases, the Canadian and the Italian bases, all those foreign bases that are in Niger, we don't need them. Our armed forces must not give in to any blackmail. Niger is resilient. We are resilient. What we produce, our GDP, is more than enough for us to survive. We call on the armed forces, the security forces, to resist those attempts to blackmail us. It's interesting. When it comes to the conflict in Ukraine, Macron makes it all about the interests of Ukrainians. But when unrest breaks out in Niger, it's all about French interests. It wasn't that long ago that Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni was undressing France on the world stage and exposing its colonial interests in all their glory. This is a child who works in a gold mine in Burkina Faso. It's one of the poorest nations in the world. France prints colonial money for Burkina Faso, which has gold. In return, they demand that 50% of everything Burkina Faso exports end up in the coffers of the French Treasury. The gold that this child goes down the tunnel to extract mostly ends up in the coffers of the French state. So the solution is not to take the Africans and bring them to Europe. The solution is to free Africa from certain Europeans who exploit it and allow these people to live off what they have. In the end, Macron might try to dress up and justify his actions and frustrations as defending democracy in Niger rather than economic neocolonialism. But the reality is that the emperor really is just standing there in his fancy Lacoste boxer shorts by this point. Well, earlier we discussed uh, this with an uh, activist from South Africa who says that Niger's uh, sudden decision to stop exporting uh, uranium and gold will bring some rather severe consequences to France. Cancelling and blocking any sales to France of, of the uranium will not affect them in any way because, after all, they were not benefiting. It will affect France immensely because the existence of France the French economy's entire existence depends on exploitation of Africans and African resources. There is no France without Africa. And I am happy that the Francophone, the French-speaking African countries, are eventually waking up and demanding their wealth and realizing their wealth. France is a criminal state that survives on looting and exploiting and stealing and killing of African people in the French-speaking countries all over, in Ka, Congo, Burkina Faso, everywhere. Russia has already played a pivotal role in awakening the black people. Russia has worked as a messiah who was sent to Africa to awaken them, to conchetan, because the relationship that African people and the African countries had with the West was that of slavery, was that of master and a slave, was that of colonialism, and it was that of a garden boy and a kitchen girl. Russia then came 